The whole pelt can then be removed, taking care not to tear the skin. And you split it between the two legs. There's a little crevice there, that's what you open up. Just push the knife through and pull it down. There's a, a small bone there, which is the pelvis bone, and you need to split that. That's all you need with the knife. Now I'd suggest, unless you're really competent with a chopper, that you only use your saw to, to split the backbone the entire way down. There's a little red vein that marks the centre of the backbone until you get through the legs. The shank here, it's best if you joint that, it allows the forequarter to sit into the roasting dish a lot easier. Again, you just saw through the bone, leave the shank attached, and it can sit in the roasting dish like so. If, if a forequarter that size is too large for your family, it's quite a simple matter of where I've marked through the ribs to cut that forequarter into half. Again, saw through the bone, finish off with the knife, and you've got two forequarter roasts.